Hi, I'm David Barnett. You might remember me from the British Broadcasting Corporation television series Airport, the fly on the wall docu soap that documented the somewhat mundane lives of the staff of the British Airports Authority. Now, their somewhat mundane lives were brightened up considerably by the arrival of myself as part of the entourage of a well-known international touring rock band. I was there uh, in my capacity as international merchandise and marketing manager or as it was rather crudely uh, put in the edit, selling t-shirts. Um, but as well as being the subject of major television documentaries, I'm also a documentary maker myself. Um, I've already been compared to the holy trinity of great British documentary presenters, uh, Palin, Portillo and Partridge. Um, I'm not sure about that last one, but it's very interesting that I should be compared to Michael Portillo because I think we do have quite a lot in common. Um, for example, a rather uh, ambiguous and colourful sexual history and equally colourful trousers. I think though that there is one major difference where myself and Michael are concerned because while Portillo is happy to merely um, sit gazing out of the window on his train journeys, pontificating about the scenery and so on, I put my feet where my mouth is. Welcome to another edition of David Barnett's Great British Parkrun Journeys. Hi, welcome back to episode 5 of David Barnett's Great British Parkrun Journeys. Now the journey you're joining me on today takes us to Hackney, um, Hackney Marshes to be precise, in the northeast of the capital city. Now there is a connection between where I'm going today and Michael Portillo. Um, Michael of course uh, doesn't live in Hackney himself, I mean, uh, you know, look at it. <laughs> um, but um, Hackney is, in fact, the North Hackney is the constituency of the Labour front bench heavyweight Diane Abbott. Uh, you may be aware of this already as she never stops banging on about it. Diane Abbott, of course, well known as a former lover of hapless opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn, uh, and also celebrated as uh, being a well-known uh, socialist hypocrite for sending her son to private school. Um, but it's not just Diane Abbott who is the well-known face of television, stage and screen uh, from Hackney. The borough is literally littered, uh, not literally, that would be weird, with, um, with stars of stage and screen from Marie Lloyd in the, uh, sorry, just uh, <laughs> just doing my oyster there, uh, Marie Lloyd in the Victorian era to more recently Sid Vicious, uh, Dickie Moore, my uh, uh, companion in television's uh, Thamesmuir, um, Noel Fielding the comedian, uh, many comedians, Pete Doherty for example, um, and of course, more more recently, uh, Hackney has also spawned um, celebrity vandal Banksy. Now, Hackney, like many places in London, um, has a name whose origins are shrouded in mystery. Um, many people think that Hackney uh, comes from the term for island, e, and that hack means hook. Um, so the name Hackney, in fact, means the island uh, by the bend in the river. Um, because the part of Hackney we're going through now, Hackney Marshes, 
is um, was very much was an island. It was marshland until relatively recently. Um, I'm a bit lost now, so I'm going to consult my map and see if I can find the way there. See you after the break. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm David Barnett. Uh, I'm speaking to you from the finish line at Hackney Marshes Park Run. You can still see a few of the amateur fun runners finishing behind me there. Hackney Marshes is a, a very well liked park run among the London park runnerati, um, mainly because it is well known as offering great personal best potential because it is mostly flat. However, unfortunately, for the past couple of weeks, uh, Hackney Marshes has been forced to use an alternative route, uh, which now involves two rather brutal 180 degree about turns. These obviously eat into one's run time by a few crucial mil minutes. So uh, perhaps not my greatest time today, um, also, probably the fact that last night I was uh, entertaining uh, some of my fans as the singer, guitarist and bass player in the band Menaces, where we played to an adoring audience of more than several people. Um, also on the bill were uh, Wendy and Simon from the Pop Guns, who uh, thought we were brilliant. So thanks for that, Wendy and Simon from the Pop Guns. Anyway, here we are, Hackney Marshes. Um, once described, I believe, as a mud patch in the middle of nowhere. A little bit harsh. That description comes from the 1978 Doctor Who adventure, um, The Rivals Operation, which of course introduced the character of Romana Tvarlundar, uh, played by Haughty Mary Tan, also uh, famous for her appearance in the Odessa file. Um, so anyway, that about wraps it up for uh, Hackney Marshes Park Run. I hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as I have. We'll see you same time next week for another great British Park Run journey. Bye bye and happy running.